Hello YouTubers, I just got this new laptop called Samsung RC512 SO2. There's a difference between SO1 and SO2. That SO2 comes with a way better processor and graphics card. Uh, I think the processor is the same, but the, this one has better graphics card. Uh, this, if you just look at it, it just looks like a you know average nice laptop you know it kind of looks like ultrabook too but in fact it's a gaming laptop it comes with the second generation i7 inside uh which has a core a clock of two gigahertz and then it uh it, it turbo boost up to 2.9 gigahertz and then it comes with nvidia uh 525m which is technically a gaming GPU it, it's about 15% faster than the uh, GT335 M which is the graphics card that they used for Alienware uh, second generations like a M11X and 15X those stuff so the exterior the look is very clean you know it, it other Samsung laptops you know uh, the cover is very clean and then the uh, back side the back side you know looks like this and then uh you can easily you know change the hard drive and ram by just unscrewing over there and then battery um the stock one comes with a six cell battery and then it lasts quite long um this laptop comes with the nvidia optimus technology which you can save battery when you're just doing normal tasks like internet stuff like that um and then on on the intel battery the i mean intel graphics card the battery lasts about you know, uh, at least four hours, maybe five hours, and that's pretty long time for a gaming laptop and i7 in it. That's pretty good. And then, uh, when you start the game, let's say when I start the Call of Duty, it activates NVIDIA gaming graphics card, and then it's actually very nice. Uh, I ran you know I can run Battlefield 3 I ran multiplayer on low option it was playable definitely playable and Call of Duty you know high setting 60 FPS needs for speed shift 2 or like some other very you know graphic intensive game this thing can handle pretty well it comes with the blu-ray disc right here very light then the laptop is not heavy it's not light, but it's not heavy either. It's just a, you know, nice, you know, nice little laptop. The screen is 15.6 inch diagonally, and it, but it has kind of low resolution. I mean, if you consider that the Samsung is one of the best screen manufacturer out there, this resolution is pretty disappointing my other LG laptop that I have comes with a 1920 times 1080 resolution and it's also 15.6 inch screen I was expecting maybe 16 you know 1600 times 900 that kind of resolution but the resolution is pretty disappointing and the screen isn't the best either the color looks a little bit awkward it's maybe my setting but the color do look a little bit awkward and then it it just doesn't look naturally and it doesn't look good it doesn't look I mean it's not bad but it's not like you look at the screen and then holy shit the screen amazing the screen is I guess decent comes with the webcam microphone and the keyboard is a island type keyboard one, one that they use for Macs uh, it provides very roomy space you know 
for a single key and I actually really really love the keyboard and the mouse pad is pretty nice too good thing that they separated that the uh, mouse button and the pad Samsung tried to follow Mac and then they actually uh, used a unified uh, mouse pad and it wasn't good people you know people were touching mouse button but the mouse was still moving something like that so this this mouse key uh, keypad I mean the key mouse touchpad is very good I like it the speaker it's very clear it's uh, it's not the best but it doesn't crack up even in the highest noise the s sound is still clear and loud and it's pretty good and then it comes with the WiMAX technology where you can use 4G network on your laptop. How cool is that? So which means if you go to like a big city or like a ferry, something like that, you can access internet anywhere, you know, like several miles away from the router. And then this thing comes with the three second booting, which is a, a three second startup technology, which is what they use in Ultrabooks. So, uh, this laptop is currently on a power saving mode. You know, when you close the lid, it goes into power saving mode and it actually doesn't assume any, you know, uh, energies. And then when I open the lid, it boots in three seconds. One, two, three. That's pretty cool, I guess. So this laptop is very nice. It's actually one of the best laptops I've ever had, except for the screen. And the fact that I got this for, you know, 400 bucks, I guess that was a really great deal. If you have any questions, please ask me.